Oh god. <laughs> Acid review. Acid review. <laughs> I apologize for copying, okay? But I never know what to say in these intros. They're so difficult to record. <laughs> but welcome to a brand new episode of Acid Reviews in Unity. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Enviro, Sky, and Weather. I also learned a lot from my previous Acid Review, by the way, where you guys... Give me your honest feedback, which I appreciate a lot. If you have any more feedback, by the way, you would like to add it with this video, please do let me know in the comment section down below. I do reply, by the way, starting with the previous video, actually. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys just enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to click that like button. All that, all the thumbs ups are super appreciated. Now, with that being said, let's begin with the video. I'm feeling you, so what we gonna do now? I'm feeling you, so what we gonna do Part is a true, true story, story. <laughs> about true how he story. made his girlfriend. Uh. Alright, so like I said before, in this episode, we're gonna be talking about Enviro, Sky, and Weather from the Asset Store. If you're new to the channel, by the way, or this show specifically, we basically review Unity and other game engine assets and see if they are worth the hard earned bucks that you make. But so basically, Enviro is a dynamic sky and weather solution, as it suggests by the name. It's supposed to have a very easy setup, actually, and we're gonna take a look at that feature later in this video so make sure to stick around. So basically you can find this asset in the store within scripting effects category and you can grab it for a price tag of $50. However, if you actually have like a Unity Pro or a Plus license, either one of them, you can get it down to 40 bucks for this very specific asset because they're kind of running like a like a campaign together with Unity. I'm also known for pronouncing names very poorly, but this one is basically developed by Oh god, <laughs> here it comes. But this asset is actually developed by Hendrik Haupt. Oh my god, I actually said it right? I'm sorry, this just never happened before. By the way, may I just assume that he is a fellow Scandinavian too? I mean, come on, I put my bet on Finnish. He is 90% sure, I'm 90% sure that he is Finnish. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I don't know why it's important, but still, hey, we're reviewing his asset, okay? This is important. So if you're going to circle back to the <laughs> asset itself, uh, this asset has many features, actually, too many, in fact, to cover all of them in one video. But if we just, like, scream through the most important ones, these are basically my picks. So first and foremost, there is a profile system which will allow you to tweak settings in runtime and save them to become a profile. Then you can load those profiles or share them with others, granting you a wider area of usage because you can either download or share with other people and you can also save whatever you're editing in runtime time, which is pretty awesome. Enviro also supports a realistic day and night cycle where you can tweak all sorts of settings such as the latitude and longitude, 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 I don't know if it's, I don't know, I'm so, like, my pronoun, no. No, <laughs> I'm just not doing it. So basically those two settings I don't want to mention. Uh, Enviro will also, by the way, automatically light your scene realistically based on the sun and the altitude that the sun has. You still have to complete control over it, like you don't have to go with the, you know, built-in settings. Since you can change colors, intensities, and other fields through the editor, which is super simple. Besides those two features, there is also a built-in volumetric cloud system so that you can spawn realistic looking clouds, different seasons that Enviro will switch between regularly, a fog system, and also volumetric lighting, and even more obviously, but we're not gonna cover everything in this video, but you can also check out the access store page, which I'm gonna link in the description in case you wanna check out the full details about the features. One last feature that I wanna bring up before moving on to the next part, which is where we basically take a look at the support of the asset, is the fact that the asset also works with many third-party assets right out of the box, since it is compatible with Gaia, CTS, and many more assets that I'm gonna list on the screen right now. And now that we have covered the features, let's talk a little bit about the support as well, like I said before. Firstly, the asset is currently at version 2.0.3, and it was actually released for just a few days ago, March 28th, so that's when it got updated to this version. The initial version, however, was released in April 2015, so it's quite obvious to see that the developer, the author, is pretty caring and makes sure that it's always compatible with the latest 
version of Unity, and all the new features are added, and he actually adds new features, which is literally what I just said. <laughs> so for the actual support part, I don't really see that many replies from the author on the asset store reviews that are posted on the page, but he has got an active forum thread running, so you can always request for support there if it is needed. Now, I know you guys actually want to know a little more about the asset and the pros and the cons, so we're exactly going to be talking about that. So first and foremost, I'm going to begin by pros, and I will start off by saying the asset is highly compatible with so many third-party assets like I listed before on the screen, which is also included on the asset store page, so if you want to check it out, definitely make sure to do so. Enviro is also very easy to use due to its this kind of like out-the-box drag-and-drop kind of setup that it's got going on, so it's very easy for you to pick it up for the price range, boom, import it to Unity and just start using it by drag and dropping a simple prefab. And then you have multiple other prefabs like the effects for weather and stuff like that that Enviro actually takes care of so you don't really have to bother doing everything manually. And now this one actually comes for all the VR developers out there. Huge shout out to you guys. It is very easy to use with VR and there are in fact very informative demo scenes that are included in the package not only for VR but also for just demonstrating how the asset works in general but it's clear to see that the author really did care a lot about making sure that it's not causing any problems for VR games and made sure that it's specifically compatible with VR as well which is great to see because obviously VR is blowing up a lot of new indie developers that are getting into VR games so why not make sure that the, the asset is working perfectly fine with the latest technology. One last pro that I want to bring up here is the fact that the sky and the sun look so good when you first add it. I was actually surprised. It looks bloomy by default even though in my screenshot that I'm showing right now I overdid the effect a little for demonstrating purposes. Uh, but like it, it was actually surprising to see that it was so good. In fact, I was going to use this asset for my latest speed level design but I forgot about it. I'm so terrible. I feel so bad. <laughs> but I'm actually going to be using this one from now on, I think, for most of my speed level designs. And now quickly, let's get into the cons, which I don't really have too much to talk about. Then we're going to get into what comes in the asset and show you guys how it actually looks in Unity. So for the cons, I, I just want to say, I spent a week using the asset, as I always do with every asset that we review on this show. And I haven't been able to find any cons, honestly. I could just say though, I received an error when I first imported the asset, which was because Gaia was not in the same project and the compatibility system kind of read it off as if Gaia was supposed to be in there. I don't know, it kind of got really weird there. Honestly though, it might have been me messing up, messing it up because I kind of transitioned from one project with Gaia to another which was empty to record this video's footage. So I'm not 100% sure here, but I just want to throw it out there because I want to make sure that I'm as transparent as possible. By the way, I also want to say I fixed it by literally deleting the component, throwing the error. <laughs> so not a big deal after all, but I just want to throw it out there. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Unity and now we're going to be checking out first and foremost what comes in the asset and then we're going to check out how you can actually get the asset to work very easily. I think I can actually turn these around. So first and foremost, I will show you how to get it working. So if you go to Enviro, dynamic environment which is the root folder and the prefab you can drag and drop either enviro sky or enviro sky vr which is basically for just vr games um, into your scene and you will basically have this effect now this one you kind of have to tweak it a little bit better but if i just have to show you guys how it really looks with the other one you can basically drag and drop this one and you'll see that you get this beautiful effect right off the bat. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you use, but I personally tend to use EnviroSky VR. So that is pretty much how you get started. And then obviously from there, you can also edit all the values inside of the inspector, fo inspector window. I almost called it a folder, uh, such as the scattering color, you know, all the stars, the Rayleigh and all that kind of stuff, which is really cool. So that is pretty much how you get started with it. And now for what comes in the asset, the most important part here is obviously the prefab folder where you can find the prefabs that are literally drag and drop setup that I was talking about. 
And other than that, you also have a basics documentation, a little more further in documentation, update notes, and also the current version you're using, and then a bunch of other folders and directories that you don't really need, but we're still going to go through them real quick. So materials basically con contain all the materials for for the weather system, like the snow material, the rain, and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to tweak it up, you can do so by it here. And you also have profiles where all the post-processing profiles are located, the presets themselves. So in case you're using post-processing stack two, I think the latest version is, you can come here. And we also have resources folder, which is not really what you want to use because this is just what the asset reads off of as asset data. So you don't really want to, it's not very interesting for you unless you want to tweak the asset itself. Um, we also have samples, which is where you can find the sample scenes like the demo scene, etc. And these are very informative actually. So in case you want to create a VR game, you can check out the VR sample here. Um, you also have the prefabs that are being used in the demo scene, etc. So everything in here are just related to the samples. Um, then we have scripts, which is not very important for you either, unless you want to take some inspiration from coding. But these are basically all the scripts that the asset uses. We also have sound effects. I would suggest you to use your own sound effects in case you're going to make your own very commercial, pro professional looking game. But in case you want to use these for prototyping, that's completely fine. I think you can use these in commercial projects as well. It shouldn't be a problem. You can also have the shaders for the assets, so like the grass, the particle for the weather, and also the a transparent one, which I suppose is for like the horizon or something like that. And we also have, last but not least, a textures folder where you have all the textures like the rain, the dust, the snow, basically all the weathers and the particles and the textures that all of these basically use. And that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this brand new episode of Asset Reviews. Make sure to drop a like down below if you did. Before ending the actual video as well, I just want to give a huge shout out and a big, fat, beautiful thank you to our beautiful souls, faces, uh, people, patrons, whatever you call them, uh, for pledging on Patreon and supporting the channel, supporting the videos, and making sure that these keep on coming. So I want to give a huge shout out to Cupola, G.I. Jojo, Richard Stans, Tron Bear MCP, and all the other patrons that are supporting me and the videos on Patreon. If you want to also become a supporter and at least check out the website and the, the page itself, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. It's going to say Patreon and you're going to follow by, by a link. You can find all the information there. It's pretty easy to read off and uh, we basically have cool rewards for everyone who pledges a specific amount which is pretty fun actually and now with that being said once again hope you all enjoyed the video make sure to drop down into the comments i'm gonna meet you guys there i do reply to every single one by the way i'm just saying that um also drop a like once again if you enjoyed the video all the thumbs ups are super appreciated if you're new around here make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification so that you get notified as soon as we upload and with that being said Hope to see you guys in either comments or in the Discord server tonight. See you guys. Peace out. Have a good night. I'm feeling you. So what we gonna do tonight? I'm feeling you. So what we gonna do tonight? Then the next part is a true story.